In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at neutralization reactions and in particular the process of titration. Okay, so in a titration, we're going to find out exactly how much acid is needed to neutralize an alkali or vice versa. We could be trying to find out how much alkali is needed to neutralize an acid. It doesn't make any difference. So before we look at the procedure, let's uh, just identify some of the apparatus that we're going to use quickly. Uh, so this is the pipette and we're going to use that to transfer some of our alkali to this conical flask. And a pipette is a container which is used to transfer normally a fixed amount of liquid. So for example, in this particular case, we'll use a 25, typically centimeter cubed or 25 milliliter uh, pipette. And to do that, we're going to use a pipette filler. And so this is like a, a rubber pump, which enables us to suck dangerous liquids into the pipette. For example, alkalis or acids. We'll have a look at how that works in a minute. So this is the purette, which we're going to use to carry out the titration process. And here we've got a glass funnel to help transfer the acid into the burette. OK, so let's just look at the procedure then. And so the first thing I'm going to use is to use the pipette and the pipette filler uh, to add alkali to the conical flask. So I have fitted the pipette filler onto the end of the pipette. And let's just add that to the alkali bottle. OK, so what happens now is you squeeze the bulb and that will draw the alkali up into the pipette. And we're going to take it up to this level marker here. And we can carefully adjust this, uh, the level of the alkali in the pipette by pressing on the, a valve here. There's a valve here which allows air in and out so you can carefully adjust that position so you get that exactly right. So we now know that we've got 25 cubic centimetres or 25 millilitres of acid, sorry, alkali in our pipette. We're now going to transfer that to the conical flask. Okay, so by squeezing on the valve here I allow air into the system and the alkali then passes through the pipette into the conical flask. Let's do that. So we squeeze the valve. There we are. And we've added the alkali to the conical flask. What we're going to do now is move this over to the burette. But before we do that, we're going to add some indicator to the alkali. And this indicator is going to help us to know exactly when the alkali has been neutralized. So in this case, we're going to use phenol and then phthalane. I must admit, it's a lot easier to say universal indicator. So perhaps uh, we should have chosen that, but we'll stick with phenol phthalane. So a few drops of that, when added to the alkali, will turn the solution a pink colour. And we're going to now transfer that to the burette. OK, so before we start the titration procedure, the first step is to make sure that the tap is closed on the burette. I'm going to put a funnel at the other end and very carefully add the acid to the burette. OK, we'll do that. And once we've done that, we'll take a, take a very careful look, that's my eye there, at the level of the liquid, taking care to observe the bottom of the meniscus. All right, so that's what you're doing. So that's the, if that's the burette um, column, then, then that's the meniscus. And we're going to measure there, the bottom of the meniscus, because that's easiest to read. And we're going to take a note of that value there and um, write that down in our notebook. OK, so the next step then is once we've done that is to open the tap and very carefully allow the acid to mix with the alkali and indicator. So we're going to open the tap and carefully the acid will pass into the alkali and we're going to gently kind of 
swirl the conical flask around so that the acid and alkali are mixing properly and we're going to do this very slowly. And so as soon as we see that the colour of the indicator is beginning to change then we're going to close down the tap a bit and allow the acid to pass through very slowly drip by drip into the solution. Okay so it goes one drip at a time and then we swirl the conical flask around then another drip until the colour change takes place and the colour change will take place very rapidly and as soon as the uh, acid has exactly neutralised the alkali the indicator will change from this pink colour to clear okay it'll be quite a rapid change and as soon as that changes from pink to clear you take note of the new level of the acid okay so here you can see that the acid has been added to the alkali and the indicator has suddenly changed colour from pink to transparent this isn't blue it's it's clear and uh, what we then do once that has happened we know that the acid has exactly neutralized the alkali in the conical flask we've t already taken a note of the start value and we then take note of the the final value in the burette and the difference between those figures in milliliters will be the volume of acid that was added to the alkali and that is what we were attempting to achieve through this titration process. Okay so in the next lesson what we're going to do is we're going to use the titration process to determine the concentration of a given alkali. So we're in a situation where we have an alkali but we do not know its concentration and so what we're going to use is an acid with a known concentration and we're going to carry out a titration process and we're going to use that process to determine the concentration of the alkali.